Yesterday when we were building more characters from Rebuild the Galaxy that LEGO hadn't given us, it's a great video, definitely check it out after this one. I'll leave it on the end screen so you don't have to worry about finding it if it's not in your recommendations. I started playing around with my minifigures and I realised I have a massive minifigure problem and it's not necessarily that I have too many though I have over half a thousand minifigures, perhaps that is a little on the too many side and that's just the LEGO Star Wars theme, that's not including any of the other LEGO figures, I've definitely got to do a head count because I've got to have a thousand LEGO figures, especially between me and my fiance with all the figures we've got in Harry Potter, in Minecraft and all the other themes we collect, but the point of today's video is you might have seen it in yesterday's video. In the LED case that I got from Smith's, it's an amazing display case. If you do want to display your minifigures, it takes up hardly any space. It's a couple centimeters out from the wall. Anyway, I'm not being paid to advertise it. So I actually added Han Solo, Han Solo and Obi-Wan Kenobi. I realize I can turn around from my minifigure display, the brick built one, into the LED one. And I'm really liking how they look. Just take a look at them on the penultimate shelf there. I used to have all my CMF series here and I do want to, well, I will be picking up the D&D &D CMF at some point. It might be later on in October. I've got a really good video planned for it if I can find a complete box and hopefully I'll also add a few onto the Bricklink store. So if you would like to purchase a full set of D&D &D figures, I'll make it affordable, I won't charge the highest rates, it'll be something like 60 quid for the entire wave. Let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to whack up the other two full series on the Bricklink store when I have them in my hand. But what I want to do today is take some of my named minifigures off of the display below the LED one, the brick built one, because at the minute this is absolutely packed. I mean we have minifigures like Luke and Leia just hanging on the side with only one foot on. And I started rebuilding a few of my other older minifigures. We have the Clatuinians, I think they are, from Mandalorian Season 2, the ATST Raider. We have some of these Rebel Troopers, which I rebuilt for a future video. If you are aware, we are expecting another battle pack this year from LEGO Star Wars, and there is a really interesting connection between the Hoth Troopers and the set they came with. But a lot of these minifigures are named minifigures. You've got Anakin, Anakin, Anakin. We've got Yoda, 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 Yoda. I think there's another Yoda somewhere. And you can see my point. Padme, Padme, another Anakin. The Kenobis are gone. That's what all these gaps are. And same for the Hans at the top. We've got a ton of Mandos and Boba Fett and the Emperor. We've got the Emperor just at the top here and a few others. My point being, a lot of these are named minifigures, and if we got all our named minifigures, especially Luke, Leia, onto the display up here, which I will have to move my CMF minifigures, the ones that I've already taken off, I've put in my pab cup. I think I'm going to need a bit more room. There's like four or five parts of a series that I've moved off the display into this cup, and it's taken up half of the entire cup. So I'll probably move them to Ziploc bags and... I'm not sure if I'll display them until we move out and have more space and I'll end up getting another frame like this, maybe even two of them for the CMFs at that point because we've just started to get rumours of the next official LEGO one and some of the minifigures we can expect are really cool. Although LEGO wouldn't like me speaking about leaks here on the channel and different rumours we are getting, definitely consider becoming a member because we do talk about it over on the channel Discord. And we're starting to get a bunch of rumours and different sneak peeks into the Java Salvage, including the full 11 minifigure lineup. That's right, I was not a believer. I didn't think we were getting more than two, three minifigures. But the minifigures in this set are amazing, especially three brand new characters we've never seen before in LEGO. Much like a party C-3PO, I think we could definitely get a few more fun minifigures like this but I guess that's the point of Lego take a custom torso from the band wall add it to C-3PO and you've got this magician disco-esque 3PO in a really cool jacket by the way if you do want to join the membership you do get your name on this board you don't have to join the discord it's just a way to support the channel and thank you so much to everyone subscribing we are gaining speed fast but if I'm able to clear the named minifigures off 
of here and move them to the LED display. Then I can get all of these minifigures on the display. Well, most of them. You can see there's a Palpatine that will go on the LED one, 3PO Maul, Ray, but all the other minifigures that only show up as a one-off or some that we haven't, as of recording this video, even got in Lego form, can make their way to the display. It makes it a lot easier to find some of these characters. Speaking of, I realized that my Lego Movie 2 section on the LED display is missing this president business, sort of retired business when he's golfing in the second movie. So I'll have to add that to the collection, whatever I decide to do. But right now, most of my minifigures are displayed. Well, they're not displayed, and that is the problem. We have the first order collection in this Ziploc bag. We have the Empire, we have clone troopers, which I have a ton of clone troopers on the wall here. And most of these are customs. Filoni clones, there is a full video up on the channel. Really cool quality, but not quite official Lego. Even the battle droids. Battle droids I can fit so many on because in the unit, at the minute I'm going on this nine minifigure display. So we have the base plates from the units. We can't put anything on the far left and far right studs, but we get these nine minifigures. They're a lot clearer than they are on the other display because I have offset them by one stud instead of two. So they cover a lot less. And especially from this left angle, the, not only I'll be looking from my desk, you'll see on the camera, you just see more of the minifigures. These are all the Cantina members from the Master Builder series Cantina, which is why I think I can make a special, I don't even know what word I'm trying to say, but I can allow these as a one-off because they're not all named characters. All of these only appear the ones in Lego. I mean, Greedo has a few different versions, but for the most part, they've only got the one outfit as most of them only appear in this one scene. But as they are a part of a Master Builder set, it's the most expensive set I've got. I do want to position these differently to all the other minifigures in my collection. We also have the Rebels or Resistant people down here. And I have taken that headpiece from Lieutenant Beta. Hopefully I will be able to pick up Jedi Bob's shuttle at some point. And if you remember the A-Wing set with the part of the home one, I think it's the only time we've seen the home one in Lego. There was a Mon Calamari mechanic sort of character. And I've just used Bespin Luke's torso and legs. I did have spare from my mock last year of the Yavin celebration, which I would like to visit one day when I have a bigger rebel army to create this Mont Calamaran and hopefully I can update the set and modernize it sometime in the future. But that would be going on the brick built display. I haven't fully decided what's going to happen to the anniversary minifigures because they do have a bigger base plate and well a plate and brick combination so they're definitely going to be displayed somewhere else i'm not quite sure and what i also would like to do i'm going to say this on camera so i can hold myself to it there was originally six original trilogy characters and there are at least six prequel characters from 1999 we've got the more that comes in the book which i'm still trying to pick up we've got qui-gon kenobi padme anakin jar jar and R2-D2. We've also got some battle droids, which actually would be really nice to pick up. Perhaps R2-D2 can be a seventh minifigure like Luke here, or that can be the battle droid. Either way, I would like to get six or seven original 1999 minifigures, and they don't have to be perfect condition. So I am gonna have to order parts for a few more of these bases. And ignore this, this is a 3D print that I'm trialing out, and I, might use these for the future of storing specific Lego bricks. Just the smaller parts that I don't have too many of. But as you can see, this is the first test print. And I'll just have to dial in my printer a little more. So there's more 3D printed content coming our way. And as far as these plates, there's going to be a few people that worry about cracking Lego. So I'm going to have a quick mathematical segment talking about why alternate bricks might be the best way to display your Lego and then we'll get back into the minifigures. It's been a while since we've gotten mathematical on the channel, but here you can see a caliper. What this does is measures quite precisely the millimeters. So 10.6, it's two a hundredth of a centimeter. This is 1.06 centimeters, the gap 
between the end here and it can also measure the distance between two gaps. So just to show you with this plate here, we can see the distance between two studs is about 3.7 give or take and the actual size of the stud is 4.6. Really that would want to add up to eight millimeters. So perhaps the distance is more like 3.3 or perhaps there are some 0.5s involved. It's funny how when I turn on the camera, everything's 4.7. So let's reset this and we'll make that zero. And let's start this all over again. So the Smith's display plate, there you go, 4.6 millimeters. We'll make sure it's at zero when we close it. And then if we measure this one, we've got 4.7, 4.8, 4.78, 4.7, 4.8 we'll call it in the middle and then if we measure the lego one make sure to keep it straight so that we saw it flick 4.7 but when i'm pressing this it doesn't seem to be going down so we've got 4.8 millimeters 4.7 millimeters 4.6 millimeters which is really really nice and i will make a better video explaining the purpose of this but what this means is the lego legs are going to stick to this quite well if we were to wave it around Eventually the Lego legs are going to give out on this, which is nice because this means that this alternate plate here shouldn't crack any of your Lego legs. There is 0.2 of a millimeter more space for the legs to wiggle around. So this isn't true with all of your bricks. And again, there are going to be inconsistencies. So really you'd want to measure every single stud on this plate. But if you do own a caliper or own some sort of way you can measure the exact millimeters i'm sure you could probably end up doing it on your phone as well if you have a really steady hand or a tripod to keep it still just to compare the two of these at a really really small level it means that lego minifigures are going to be fine attached to this plate and that is exactly what i've done for my master builders series minifigures I've attached them to not only the plate, but also used these bricks as they are. All of these bricks are 4.7 or 4.6. So maybe, as I said, it's an inconsistency. I'll have to measure all the bricks before I use them. But as they're smaller than Lego, less chance of them cracking legs. Again, definitely measure your bricks and plates at home. But I find it really interesting that not many other people are using alternate bricks to display their minifigures when there is that less chance of cracking that you just don't get with any other bricks because Lego is ironically enough too accurate to have that extra wiggle room. But I've spoken for long enough. I've been talking for the last 45 minutes. So hopefully I can cut that down a bit quicker for you. I'm going to try and fit as many named characters as I can in that LED display and then rearrange my characters. I'm not quite sure how this is going to change what order they're in because at the minute a new hope has like two rows. I think Empire Strikes Back has two rows because we've got a load of Luke outfits, Leia outfits and other characters like Boba Fett that would just reduce the size of this display overall. So I'm really interested to see how it will turn out. Again, it'll be a few hours before I can give you an update because this is quite a long process, but hopefully it will just be a few seconds for you. It's now a lot later in the day. I have finished. I don't currently have any Lego Star Wars minifigures in Ziploc bags in storage. I've moved all my CMFs into one big Ziploc bag, so I will have to resort them when I take them out to display again. But as I said, that's not likely to be until I've got a bit more space to display my Lego. I'm really liking the display. I'm going to do a video in a few weeks time breaking down every single segment every minifigure i have i have a list of minifigures that i would like to get both the lego have done officially there's a few like best bin layer and that sort of minifigure and also some costumes that lego are yet to make though i'm sure i'll find a few other pieces that i can part them out through and create them as well as ordering a few parts for minifigures for you up on bricklink i know you want a grievous some clone troopers. I think there was a request for fives. There was someone who doesn't have a Yoda and I want to get a Yoda up on the Bricklink store. So let me know down in the comments what other minifigures you'd be interested in buying on my Bricklink because I'm aiming to get a bunch of Star Wars minifigures. I want to do that all at once and I'll make a full video about it. So don't worry about 
knowing when they're there and I will be alerting members as soon as they are up which will probably be a couple of days before the video gets published so if you do want to know the latest news and perhaps request a few more minifigures over on the discord as well though I will be reading through the comments and now let's have a look at what other things I've done especially with the bottom display behind me because the back of it looks really cool. And the reason it looks really cool is because it's well my first order, final order and empire. You can see there's about four rows of empire. Then we have two first order, two final order. And I really like the troops in formation. We've got an entire row of just stormtrooper helmets, which does look cool. We've got two rows of Mandalorian characters as well. And then the rest has funneled forward. I'll put an image on the left of what it looked like beforehand and also what it looked like when I emptied it of all the named characters. It looked so empty and I'm really liking how it looks. Now I've kept a few mini figures. You can see there is technically a Yoda down the front here, but he matched with the young Jedi adventures style and didn't really look right with the other Yoda minifigure. So I am keeping Yoda down here. I think there was a case for another minifigure as well, which I'm sure you'll be able to spot. But I think not only that looks good, but I'm really liking all the Star Wars minifigures on the top display. As I said, I'm going to go over this in a future video and explain why there's so many gaps, especially with Luke, Leia, Kenobi. And right on top, we've still got the Looney Tunes CMF, which I have completed. The latest Lego one, which eventually will be replaced with the D&D &D one when I pick that up and then all of the space minifigures in the middle and joining the gonks on top I can show you that we have a droidica over to the right from rebuild the galaxy where I built a few different minifigures like this nerf on the left and then we have the four mouse droids lego have created I have built someone pointed out when I built the gonks that there was a mouse droid that I was missing I think it was in the gonk video from the latest Star Destroyer, just two pieces. So I've parted that out of my drawers on the left and added that to my collection. But I really like how the displays have come along and it just leaves me with a handful of droids and clones. There were five minifigures that I put aside while I was sorting out the display. These five here, the three Bith and the two Imperial Guards, which I haven't put on my display, but they fit with the clones. so. It's fair enough. I'm not going to rearrange them just to fit the five minifigures. I'm not quite sure where I'll display them, but perhaps I can attach them to the sides of the display. And we've still got my anniversary minifigures, which if you do have any ideas for how I can display them, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll probably just put them side by side on one of the shelves wherever I can fit them. Now, this isn't all my clones. I have started bagging up a few because I am debating adding them to the Bricklink store, especially these 501st from the 2020 style battle pack i have a ton of them well not a literal ton i think i picked up five of the battle packs so i've taken the figs from one of the battle packs and added them to their own ziploc bags and i might list them on bricklink i'm not quite sure at the moment but i have put them aside just in case i decide to as well as organize my battle droids four rows of battle droids for four distinct types of battle droids and then we got a few different colored on the end but i didn't realize i owned four variations of droids and again that's something i can cover in another video because the changes are so slight i might have to order a magnifying glass just to show you on camera and then these are the other characters that i couldn't fit on my display a few astromechs and a few of the bigger droids that just wouldn't fit on either of the displays so i'm going to have to Think about where I am displaying them, but seeing my clones and droids on these plates is really, really cool. And these are gonna be used in countless mocks coming very, very soon. So that is all for the video. Again, I will be showing off that display in a future video. So stay tuned for that. If you did like today's video, please do drop a like. It literally took me all day to put these minifigures on that display, but I'm so happy I've sorted my current minifigure problem. Well, it's no longer a problem because they're up on the display, organized, and it's gonna make the shorts so much easier to record. Speaking of, I'm gonna start bundling the requests for my minifigure collection, make them a bit snappier so that I can fit a few more customs. I don't know if it'll be long-term, I'll be trialing it over the next few weeks. So keep your eye out for the video. I'll try to post them all on a Monday and make a minifigure Monday day out of it. But Keep your eye out for those. Check out all the videos on screen now. And thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. 
As always, may the bricks be with you.